Hey guys, this video we are going to learn how to change the default port number for Jenkins. So what is the default port for Jenkins? 8080, right? So how can you change that default port number? Let's say you have installed Jenkins on Ubuntu EC2 instance. You want to change the default port, right? All you have to do is make changes in this particular file, right? Okay, so let's see how to do that, okay? So if you see here, this is my Jenkins currently running on 8080 okay? So now let's say I want to change from 8080 into let's say 8090. How to do that, okay? So all you have to do is like I mentioned, let's log in uh, to Jenkins. I'm already logged in. I'm going to uh, access that particular uh, file, right? Which is, you know, the default Jenkins file. And then if you look for port number 8080, you see here, so this is the default port, right? Which is 8080. So if you want to change it, all you have to do is, let's say I want to change into 8090. So just, just make the change, save the file, and then you also need to restart the Jenkins service because since you made a configuration change, you have to restart the Jenkins service. Okay, so now it is restarted and let's quickly see if the service is up and running. Wow, you see here, uh, the service is up and running. And then of course, you can also see if you are able to access on a 090 port. Okay, it's gonna take few seconds to come up. Wow, you see here, so we are able to access by executing that curl command. And of course, if you want to see it in the browser, um, you have to say 8090. So right now this is not coming up. The reason why it's not coming up is we have not opened the security firewall rule, right? So let me quickly do that. Since this is an EC2 instance, right? This is an AWS, this is how it is set up. So click on security, select the instance, click on the security and then click on the security group. Okay, and then edit the inbound rule. All you have to do is open up 8090 right 8090 and then make sure you know you are assigning we are opening up for all and then say save rules okay now my security firewall rule has been done and then i'm going to say refresh here now you see here now it is running in 8090 right so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can uh, make that default port change in Jenkins. Thank you for watching.